Hey guys, it is Sonia, and let me take my phone out of my pocket so I can get down here because we're going to get all down on this piece. I'm trying to get back to pieces that have been waiting for me to make my return to them. And this is a piece on Facebook you may have seen in the background or even in my videos here on YouTube. And now I'm coming back to um, do the next step, which is, I think I'm gonna add some stripes. I love the combination of the flowers, which I hand painted, and I'm gonna put some stripes on here. So let me get my tape and get all ready. I just started, like I'm, I think I'm gonna do stripes on the side, across the top, and down the other side. What do you guys think? So I'm just doing a little sand over right now. I'm gonna dust it off and then get ready to do that. I did film myself a little bit painting these flowers. I'm pretty sure I have that footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to insert that as I prep this piece right here for you. So guys, I sanded the sides while you were watching that little bit, and because nobody likes the sound of a sand pad, so oh, it doesn't really bother me. Does it bother you sometimes when I've sanded on videos? People will say, "Oh, I can't stand the sand of a the sound of a sand pad." Um, that doesn't do anything for me. Like it doesn't make me angry or anxious or any anxious or anything like that. How about you? How do you feel? For me, a sand pad is part of doing the work of painting. So I went ahead and got this ready. Just did a dust over. So this is not sealed. I think I'm going to do the gold poly sealer once I get this all finished. So now I get to have some fun. And much like how I approach, I might have to get on the other side here, guys, only because yeah, I'm right-handed and I need to be above to see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to use some painter's tape. Honestly, this is the only size painter's tape, tape I have. It's going to work. We're going to make it work. And when I do stripes, I started to say I, I approach this pretty much like how I do everything else, which is imperfectly perfect. It's the overall feel and 
and uh, so when I do this, I just eyeball it up. You can have stripes that are closer together, further apart. I think that's a whole look in itself. I really do. In fact, I love it. I did a table, some of you guys might remember, where I did just that. I just did kind of like wonky lines and different widths of lines, and it turned out fantabulous. So I don't try for perfection. Plus, the way I paint is very cozy, very lived in, and I think it's quite charming and has character when things um, have some interest to them. All right, so let me see. Now that we're close to the end, where would I want this? Maybe I'll try for right there. Let's see how that looks. If that is too wide in the background. What I can do is, do I want to leave that? Maybe I just want to leave that. See, this is one of those things where I'm just like, maybe I don't want to put another straight back there. I'm fine, fine with that being a wider straight stripe. Can't talk today. Getting over the headaches. Oh, all right, but feeling much better. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, I'm happy with that. Very, very happy. The way I look at it as well is when you are a creator and you are painting, like this piece will be for sale, that that's part of the creative control. You can say that, yeah, I put that splash of paint there because that's the way I wanted it to be. So you can, you know, it's your masterpiece. So it doesn't have to be a certain way. Okay, now we're gonna go in with something to put stripes on. So I could go with this same color right here if I wanted, or another color, I'm trying to think. So I could do the wax and use that to stencil with. I just have to would wait longer for it to dry. Or do I wanna use a metallic paint and it'll be dry faster? Let me think of my schedule here. What can I get done today? Hmm. I might go with the brighter. So you know the stuff that we put on the doors yesterday? I think I'm gonna go with this just because I can get it done faster, it'll dry faster. And all I need now is my handy dandy brushes. Let me do the brush test. That will work well. I can bring this edging out around here as well. So once I paint this in here, I can also take my brush edge and add some more out here. I've got orange, I'll put pumpkinator in this. This is all junk monkey paints down here. So there's pumpkinator in here. This is an orange brassy color. It's gonna be great and fabulous. Now a technique is to just use a shabby chip brush and lay down very sparingly your paint. It will provide the peek the peekaboos, the peek throughs. I love distress style, so I'm not going to try to make this be completely covered. I'm just gonna do nice long brush strokes. And this is also the direction that I painted the paint to begin with. So the color on here is called Seahorse, which is a super popular color that we make. I love it. Some colors, you know, you're ready to change out and do some, bring in some new shades in the color family, but Seahorse, I am still loving it. You guys are still loving it. So Seahorse is super popular and staying on our shelves right now. Everybody loves this color. Ooh, so pretty. Let's get the back. We gotta do that little lip over the side as well. It's a beautiful day here. So nice. Maybe this evening I'll uh, convince Matt to go out and take a quick walk on the beach. It's beautiful. Especially after a hard day of work. It's nice to get some air and enjoy the sunset. Alright, 
like that. So, get that little edge. Very, very nice. Do I want any around the front? Probably just, just a little bit of edging. Just a little bit like that. All right, let me get the other side as well. And the other thing is when you don't put a ton of paint on, it just dries faster. So it really, you know, it's gonna make it real easy because I'm, I'm about to, I'm about, hear my voice, I can't even talk right. I am about, coming back to life. I am about to take these stripes up in just a moment so we can enjoy that satisfaction. I might need an afternoon coffee as well. Do you guys do afternoon coffee? Or are you just a morning coffee drinker? Do you kind of leave it at that? All right, love that. So I'm gonna do down the sides as well. I think that would look really, really good. What I might do though is let this completely dry and then flip it up on its side so I can really get good access to the sides. So why don't we right now go ahead and take this off, see how we like it. Come on, work with me. Are you ready? I will tell you that this is quite satisfying. When you do tape like this, I would definitely encourage you not to leave it on too long. Have you ever used the blue tape that um, you leave it on, next thing you know, it's like, I don't know, it's hard to take off. I can actually reuse these. I might even reuse these. Just stick these on my door. And my door has a whole other use. So, um, yeah, I would definitely take off when you're doing the taping. I wouldn't leave it on too, too long because sometimes it wants to take the paint off with it. It sticks down real good. Get your nice sharp lines, pull it up. Guys, just wait till we seal this and we put gold poly onto it. It's gonna look so good. guys think what do you think tell me what you think below do you like stripes as well I love stripes polka dots anything whimsical I think it looks so good and here's the side view probably would have been easier just to turn you guys the camera but instead I decide to turn the entire piece of furniture so yeah I'm gonna let this dry a little more and then I'm going to lean this up and work on that side. I think it'll be good. I also have the knobs that was on it. So I'll have to decide if I'm gonna go with the brassy or with more gold. But what I wanna do is add a little bit of this brass down here. This is the same stuff that we used yesterday on the doors. So it is on my website. If you feel like you want some, you can find it there. Because like I said, you'll see me do a lot of projects if you follow me here. So this is definitely a staple that I love. I'll put a little bit of, maybe now what I'll do is Get a little more of it and add it even in a little bit of here. That way it kind of brings it together. So 
So a friend gave me this little piece and she was back into my store here in the last week or so. So I invited her to come back. And she kept saying, wait a minute, this is the piece I gave you? This is the piece I gave you? And I'm like, yep. It's not even done yet, but already you wouldn't really even recognize it because it was just, it had been in her basement and it was just wood looking. It's like a, I think a wood, part wood, part, um, like a particle board. It was starting to warp a little bit too. All right, we're gonna put a little bit down here. I like that, what do you guys think? Cool, not too much, just enough. Just right. Where's that Goldilocks porridge? Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Okay, we're not gonna overdo that. We just basically brought this down here a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is tip this up, do what I told you I'm gonna do, work on the sides, and then I have to do the gold poly. All right, friends, I think I'm gonna leave it there because I wanna let that dry, don't wanna mess that part up. Um, and then I will see you guys again real soon. Hopefully this inspires you to maybe put some stripes in something that you're working on. See you guys. Bye.